We're back. We're back! The Dinosaur Story. What? That's a movie from the 90s. We're back. The Dinosaur Story. Oh, I, I'm sorry. I am not aware of that one. It was like a Land Before Time ripoff. <laughs> the Land Before Time ripped itself off of its, like, 13 sequels. Uh, yeah. It had, for a while, it had more sequels than Final Fantasy. <laughs> wow! That was long ago, though. Yeah. Before Final Fantasy 15. Oh, yeah. They're green units, so you know what that means. It means you could get them. Or they're just there to do nothing, like those dumb soldiers on, like, the three That's levels. That's true. Jafar has, like, a pretty sweet tattoo of something. We can't even see what it is. For all we know, that could be, like, a, a tattoo of a, this tail of a monkey or something. I mean, that would still be cool. It's on Jafar. <laughs> that, would, that, would, that is weird. I, I always thought as a kid that was just like a giant scar he had. I guess I guess it could be. Let's be honest, Jafar's done some uh, shifty stuff. Oh yeah, absolutely. He's killed Matthew's girlfriend. Oh, I just realized Matthew's dead, so I guess they're reunited. No, Matthew's actually not... Okay, when your units die in this, some of them die, and some Matthew of them are dies. just like... Oh, he actually does I die. <laughs> this is kind of sexist, but I... Pretty sure the female characters live, and then the male characters die outright. That... Well, not all of them, because the ones who are important to the plot, like, Pent doesn't die. Because he appears oh, in some cutscenes. that's things. true. Also, Pent has to live, because they have descendants in the Fire Emblem 6. Oh, that's true. From what I've heard. Mm -hmm. I know in Awakening it's the case where it's like the they females do, can't die. They should do uh, what Metal Gear Solid does, where if you kill one of the characters who, in one of the future games, exists, <laughs> then there's like a time paradox. <laughs> oh, is that the one from 2 or 3? In 3, because it takes place in, in during the Cold War. If you, um, I thought they all took place during the Cold War. No, some of them are like modern. Oh. No, the, the like third... Final Fantasy 15. <laughs> yeah, exactly. The third one takes place during the Cold War, and you can. One of the characters from the first game is like a young adult, basically, and you can like kill him in certain cutscenes, and it'll be like time paradox. It'll be like Snake, <laughs> Snake, you destroyed time itself. Because he has to live to be in two and three. Actually, I think he's in all the games. Ocelot. 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 No, it's Ursula. Metal Gear. Meryl. <laughs> Otacon. <laughs> uh oh. Real meal. Nope, that's what? Real. <laughs> that's what Snake says whenever he devours a snake in the game. Oh, I want more. <laughs> okay. so this you is can make Snake throw up in the third one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Where it'll be like you can feed him something, and then if you spin the camera around in the pause screen, he'll be like. And it'd be like, oh, Maxime! You remember him? He's the pallet swap of the mini boss on the Darren level. Oh, yeah! Uh, I was gonna say, which Metal Gear Solid is it where it's like, if you wait around for like a half hour, the ice cubes melt? Oh, that's two. <laughs> two has all sorts of stuff. Mostly, it's like, really? They took the time to program that? Mostly in like the beginning, like two hours where you're Snake. Because, like, that was the demo they released. So people played that so much where they're like, yeah, dude, you could shoot up watermelons, and, like, depending where you shoot, like, that'll be where the watermelon gets, like, chopped or whatever. Oh. Like, it's really intricate. Or, like, yeah, the ice cubes can melt. Okay, so I've been thinking, we have the hammer knee staff. I want to use it once to get the manicotti back up, okay. and once to get the wolf bale back up. Yeah, sounds good. Because we only get those two in the game. Can I sell the blue gem? Go for it. We're not hurting for cash. It's true. We should probably bring some chest keys, because there's a chance the V-Galt can die on this one. You just got rid of my chest key! No, I got rid of the talisman and the oh, guiding ring. You're right. Okay. Um, unlock staff's not really going to help on this level. I will take the torch staff. You know what the subtitle for Metal Gear Solid 3 is? Snake, Snake Eater! Oh boy. Are we gonna be? Are you gonna sing Snake Eater in every? Uh... I should probably make that my goal now that I'm not spoiling things. <laughs> the Hammerny staff. Let's see. Is it Hammerny or Hammern? <laughs> probably Hammern, to be honest. And there are probably people like you sound like a freaking idiot. It's Hammern. It's Hammern. Somebody's probably also like, um, actually, the ice cubes are in all the Metal Gear Solid games. 
<laughs> or something dumb like that. Mm, probably. Two added a whole bunch of <laughs> you know what? stuff like that. If you kill a guy in that and then like walk through like the blood, if there's any blood, well, there'll like be bloody there'll be bloody footprints, and then people can follow you and be like, <gasps> and you can like, if you like go into a locker to hide, they'll be like, someone's in this locker and like stuff like that. Oh, that's actually pretty cool. It's like really detailed for a PS2 game. <laughs> yeah, I'm I'm like looking at that from a programming perspective. I'm like, wow, they took the time to program that. That's impressive. Pretty much all those games are like that. Like there, there's just like there's a lot of weird suppose, hidden stuff. Uh, there's an iron axe for Oswin. Sweet. Oh yeah, Pent has a whole bunch of stuff. Uh, I Ugh. forget who has the Brave Axe. I think I do. Yeah, that sounds right, because Matthew opened that one chest. Alright, uh, I'm gonna give him a different Iron Axe then. Uh, the audience is like, come on, you're so slow! Just pick. Okay, I will entertain the audience then while you change. Okay, well, okay, well now it's your turn to do items, and I think you start on this level. Oh, are you going to be using Carl? Yeah, probably. I You might want to have him use a hero crest soon. Not Carl. Raven. Yeah. Just because we're getting to that point, we only have a couple of levels left in the game. Like, they're big levels, but... I might just... I might just do it now if I have one. You do. <laughs> on, a, on a casual playthrough, I would never even think of upgrading my units before basically, it's sacrilege. It pretty so. much is sacrilege, but... Uh, I don't know. At this point, we want to, we want them as strong as possible, That's and true. within the time limit, of course. And now he can use axes. He's so bad with axes, though. I feel hand axe. He's pretty good with, right. just because that gives him range, which is like oh no, you gave all. Merlin is good. Thank you. You're so generous. I hope we don't run out of, like, equipment. I don't think so. Alright, we're gonna save. Oh. Yes, we're gonna save. There's a decent chance we could have to restart this level. This is a tough one. Alright. Oh, we each get seven. Excellent. I'm not uh, taking feel, though. Right? Okay, wait, hang on. Two, three, four, five, six. I've got my seven. You want, uh, Carl, probably. Yeah, I'm basically not using Priscilla, so... Oh, you might want to give... Well, I, I, mean, I should give him something besides the low die out. I was also going to say, probably you don't want him to have the Elysian Whip. Like, even if you don't end up using it, like, you can still sell it. This deals... Ooh, Silver Sword, that's true. <laughs> We're saving for real this time. Yep. 11 hours, wow. We good? We good. Merlinus did, did not level up. He got slaughtered like a tent, <laughs> a guy in a tent. <laughs> sure. Do we have any keys? Uh, I have Wee Galt with me. He has a lockpick. Right. Who do you want me to send over here? Um, hmm. So we've got Maxime over there, and he has a silver uh, lance. So we're gonna want a strong axe wielding unit like Hector or Dart. Uh, honestly, most on Elwood's story, most of your units should go to the left. Just because there's only a small handful of units to the right. All right. We'll I'm gonna send Lynn that way, maybe Elwood that way. And probably someone strong like. Possibly Dart or uh, Oswin. I'll send Hawkeye over here too. Oh, that's Hawkeye, okay. Uh, so I feel like in past videos, even though I'm sure this is horribly dated at this point uh, <laughs> we've asked like what are some games you want to play like let's play down the road what are some games you're like i will never let's play that <laughs> oh besides ones where it's like obviously you're not gonna play like grand theft auto or something on uh, your channel. five nights at freddy's definitely not playing that. just because everybody does yeah because you like I'm, those games I've, I've played the first two on the iphone i think that was a mistake i like watching other people let's play that i was gonna and say you I are like a fan though yeah I, I am a fan oh marcus Oh, uh, put him to the left as well. Like there? Yeah, that's fine. Cool. Yeah, I, I like the Five Nights at Freddy's games. Like, the guy who made them, Scott Kavan, he did a really good job with them. But they're definitely overrated and overplayed. For the same reason, I probably will not do Mario 64 anytime soon. Mm, oh, yeah. Hammer knee. Mario 64 is a good choice. Although, oh. Mario 64 is versatile. Like, 
Five Nights at Freddy's, I feel like there's only a handful of ways to actually beat it. <laughs> Whereas, like, it's Mario really 64... It's like, blind, like, play it when you, you, you're used to the scares. Right. And then, like, Mario 64, you can do way. it, like, a bajillion different ways. That's true, but I'm not good enough at the... I'm barely right. good enough at the game to beat it 100%, let alone, like, right. get every coin in the game. Be, play it with one hand. Yeah, right. Oh, yeah, Jafar's oh, Jafar over there. Jafar can die. He can. It, it really depends on how often he uses his elixirs. Because he has free with Do you him. think you're going to have anybody that we're playing, or who, like watching you play, who's complaining that there's no battle animation? It's possible. I mean, it depends on how popular this gets. Like, if it's like my poop free school, random one off. Okay. <laughs> Very few games are poop free school. <laughs> I know, that's true. That's why I think you should try more one offs just to see what you get. Well, I've done three single player one offs. I've done that in the two Freddy Fish game, the first two Freddy Fish games. Those do not get a lot of views. I am convinced that Poop Free School got a lot of views simply because of the clickbait title. Well, maybe you should do more clickbaity titles. I kind of don't like quick clickbait titles. <laughs> I don't want to be popular. I don't. Uh, I kind of want to repair Hector's wolf bale. We might need her to open that. Or no, I guess we don't. Need her to open that door. All right, but anyways, back to us. what are some other games you would not. Play. I would never let's play. Ooh, that's a tough one. Um, like either like they're too hard. I guess I'm not. Let's not talk about ones that are like content inappropriate for your channel because right. those are givens. Well, I mean, I do want to play stuff like Psychonauts eventually, but I'd have to do that on my other channel. I feel like you could just do like a hey, there might be some bad language. Psychonauts well, is really not that bad. I guess it's not. It's a pretty light T. And I, I'm, I'm sure my viewers are thinking, like, well, you did Undertale. That's got swearing. Like, why did you do that? I, I didn't know that ahead of time. And if I had, I would have done it all on my other channel. Looks like we can't really do anything because we all couldn't quite make it to the doorway. So, do you, I guess I'm fine with all my guys waiting there. Oh, there's a door there. Hang on. Have someone get a key door key. From who? Merlinus, who's literally right oh. there. So, I don't know if we have any. We have tons of door keys. Okay, two. We have a few. Oh, I was about to pick not the Devil Axe. That guy's pretty lucky, isn't he? No, the Devil's Axe, I, I... Correct me if I'm wrong, audience, but I think the way the Devil's Axe works is it'll hit the enemies, but if you critical, it'll damage you. I think that's the way it works. Oh, I thought it was just—I thought it was just based on your luck. Because I've, from what I've experienced and seen from other people playing this game, it? yeah, uh, the Devil's Axe has never backfired unless they critical. Hmm. Okay, well we didn't need anyone to kill Maxime. Jafar did that. Also, there there's really good stuff in those chests, audience, but uh, they're hard to get because enemy thieves will come. Oh, that's cool. She's fine. That's very nice of them opening the door. I think they might have sword of reavers, so well, we got a little bit of. I can't. I can't there. remember if that's uh, Elwood's story or Hector's story. I think it's Hector's where they have all the funny weapons. Who do we have to have talk to Nino? Elwood? Any lord. Okay, good. We got two. It's a glad Jafar in case the first one doesn't work out. Jafar's a smart guy. Most of the time, I have had him die on me, which always kind of stinks. Sad. If he dies, though, that'll be like, oh, great, we don't have to do the side quest to get him. Yeah, but he's so good. He is really good. You can move Elwood a little bit if you want. Or actually, what level is Elwood? 60. Oh, he needs some level ups. <laughs> yeah, Sword Slayer. Try to crit. Nice, right. Carl! And you only had, like, a 61% chance of doing it anyways. I'll just like... Alright, cool. Okay, so Five Nights at Freddy's, Mario 64. Here, Hector. Um, you talked about Psychonauts, you got distracted. Oh, okay, sorry about that. Psychonauts 2. I, w I would love to play Psychonauts 2 if it ever comes out. It will. Similarly, if the Mother 4 fan game ever comes out, I really want to play, play that. Gotta play it before it gets taken down, like this um, Metroid 2 one. There was a Metroid 2 fan that got there was like a There was an awesome Metroid 2 remake that was like a fan game that Nintendo like immediately copyright striked, and then now that E3 just happened, 
again, dating this video, mm -hmm. it's probably because Nintendo is making a remake of Metroid 2 themselves. Well, Nintendo's I mean, made way, it pretty clear that they are not doing anything more of the Mother series. Yeah, but Nintendo has also made it pretty clear that they hate fan games. Which, I think, honestly, that's hurting them more than it's helping them. Nintendo wants your, your YouTube money. So they obviously hate fan games. The, the thing is, though, like, yes, in the past, I know Nintendo has, like, been the worst about, like, taking down Let's Play videos. They're doing themselves a disservice for that, because right. it's basically free publicity. I agree. Especially, like, okay, there's some games where it's, like, if you Let's Play it. Like, if I watched it Let's Play, there's no way I'd buy it. Mm -hmm. But, I, A, I don't really watch Let's Plays. Oh, whoa, Dart, I thought you were invincible. And, um, and B, like, there are most games, like, if I watched a Let's Play of Smash Brothers, I am way more likely to buy Smash Brothers. Oh, yeah, definitely. There are very few games where it's like, I'm like, if I watch a Let's Play, uh, it's my turn, actually. There are very few Let's Plays where if I watch it, I'll be like, wow, I'm never playing that. Right. So, anyways... Other games I might not let's play, or would definitely not let's play. Uh, like, is there anything you're like, too hard? See, original or, like, Rayman's too boring. Kind of up there. Oh, original Rayman is just brutal. Oof. Especially the PlayStation 2 version, which is the one we have. PlayStation 1. Yeah, PlayStation 1, I'm sorry. Like, the computer version fixed so many of the, like, insanely difficult jumps. That game is so good, but so just brutal. Absolutely. Let's see, he's got a- oh, he's got a silver sword. Yeah. Does the hammer kill- no, not even- not even close. He didn't use a lance. Oh, yeah, duh. Come on. Yeah! So, original Rayman. Yep. Sorry, guys. Uh, sorry, it's hard for me to play and think at the same time about this. Uh, That's a problem if you're a Let's Player. <laughs> <laughs> Snap. Shots fired. That's pretty true, though. That is true. That's why I could never be a Let's Player, because I'd be like, and now, you're gonna... I forgot what I was Just doing silence. Yeah. Oh yeah, now I'll watch, that, I killed like 50 guys. That's definitely the way I was, especially in the earlier videos, where it's like, there's a lot more awkward silence in my early videos I guess videos it depends on now. the game. Like, I can kind of talk all day during, like, a turn-based game. Right. Because uh, it's, it's easy and repetitive. But if you're doing something like Dark Souls or something, <laughs> like, that's not a good video. Well, and I feel like for Dark Souls, if you have long pauses in the commentary, it's less of an issue than for turn-based games. Yeah. Someday I'll beat that game. <laughs> Dark Souls is a cinch. If you want a real hard game, you'll play Bear Storm. Uh, I have never beaten Bear Storm, so I can't. I don't recommend it. <laughs> it. That was one of the games. Well, I've played it. I haven't beaten it. I guess. That was one of the few games that I actually beat as a Let's Play, and I'm like, that probably wasn't worth it. <laughs> Danger far. He hasn't taken damage. It is That's our a good story. He does die more in uh, Hector's, I feel. And he's yeah. still on those pillars. Also, in Hector's story, the boss is in a completely different location, which yeah. can totally trip you up. <laughs> Nino finally, finally you know, killed... It took her, like, four turns, but... Nino is amazing if you level her up to max level. Until then, she stinks. Ah, uh, the Delphi shield. We're not really using any flying units anyway, so the Delphi so shield good, wouldn't though. come in handy. That's true. Unless I decide to use Veda. Oh, she's pretty good. She actually is pretty good. Even if you have, even comparing her to Heath, she's a pretty solid unit. Oh, she, Plus she's she comes with a spear. Yeah, spears are pretty good in this. Spears are like basically silver lances that you can throw. We could have used Hawkeye Keen of Jungle on the other side. I suppose. Uh, Legault. Yeah. Is it Legault or Legault? Yes, he's French. Oh, Legault! <laughs> he could be! Oh, thank you! You're welcome. What can I say but you're welcome? Moana reference. Also dates this. Well, I mean, to be fair, when we're recording this, Moana, it's not like, Oh yeah, it just came out! No, it's been out for like a year. <laughs> I'm pretty sure between the E3 comments and Moana songs, people will be able to figure out where this is. 
in the grand history of the universe. I don't really want to use the irony stuff just to do that. The kind of valuable. Did you use it on Hector? I couldn't. He has full HP. <laughs> no, the hammer he said. Yeah, I did. Okay. Thanks. Oh, did I say hammer I meant physic. Whoops. Oh. Yeah, you did, but it's cool. <laughs> Mowing on the pillow. I guess I will now name games on your channel that I would not let's play. <laughs> <laughs> that I've already done. You're like, oh, Artie, I would never let's play that. Why would you do it's so bad? Um, Why would, who would want honestly, to watch Honestly, I would not have had the patience videos. to do bear storming. I would probably not have done poo preschool, which would have been a bad move since that's your biggest video. <laughs> I most likely would not have done Balloonorama. To be fair, I, would, I myself was on the fence over whether I should do Balloonorama. But, like... Yeah, I mean, it's a good game. Um... It's fun, and it's got cool graphics and catchy music. I probably wouldn't have done Kingdom Hearts. It's a little long. That is long, to be sure, but I actually... Game, but... I went back and did all the bonus bosses I never beat before. Which is cool. Kurt Ziza, curse you. Oh, I wouldn't have done DK64, because every time I play that game... And okay, before people get mad at me, because <laughs> DK64 does have some like pretty big fans... I, I am one of them. I like DK64... I actually have a, maxed, like, done everything in that game, gotten all 201 bananas, all that fun stuff. Every time I play that game, it gets worse. I agree. It has not aged well. It's still fun, but, like... Parts of it are fun. Yeah. But there's also parts of it that are just infuriating. <laughs> Beaver bother! That's why the when I... Cockroach race. That's why when I played it, I did a 0% playthrough, which, like, almost no one has done before, so... That's true. And that game is, like, crazy glitchy. I, I said it in that Let's Play, I'll say it again. I am of the opinion in DK64, if you try hard enough, you can go through any wall in the game. Yeah. I, I would believe that, you know? Uh, where do you want me to put him, or do you not? Oh, um... Once that hero dies... We'll figure, oh, if that hero dies. Oof. Oh, Pent's here. Of course that you guy's gonna die. This is, the Pent pillar. is great. <laughs> Sorry. Pillar. Do you want him on a pillar? Sure. All right. We'll bring him down. Maybe he can... Uh, maybe he can gleep some of the stuff that wow. uh, the other thieves have. Wow. <laughs> gleep. Slain term meaning to rifle, filch, purloin, and short steel. A That's deep Arthur reference. You know, you actually should play some Arthur games with all this Arthur. If knowledge. I could get Arthur's Reading Race to work on my computer, I totally would. It works would. on the Scum VM. No, it does not. I'm pretty sure it's one of the Scum VM games. Nope, you're thinking Arthur's Teacher Trouble or oh, Arthur's Birthday. Not as good. Not Reading Race. Should I go down here? Probably not. I don't remember what's down there, so you could, but you could also draw enemies towards Nino. Oh, that's right. I forgot. We have to protect Prince Zephiel. <laughs> Thankfully, Zephiel is smart enough to A, stand on a pillar, and B, use elixirs. And not go looking for trouble. He's not great. No, he's not. He has a silver sword, he, right? He definitely gets better in the sixth game, though. Yeah. Does he actually attack back? Yeah, he attacks back. For some reason, I don't remember him actually attacking. <laughs> Maybe in a Hector story hard mode, he doesn't have a sword? <laughs> I don't know. I have never oh, gotten very good. hard in Hector story hard mode. <laughs> You haven't gotten very far? Far? You yeah. said hard. Oh. I have not gotten very far in Hector's story hard mode. Has different connotations. Okay. Thank you for bringing those up, then. <laughs> I'm pretty sure if you hadn't mentioned that, it would have gone over most people's heads. You can take that. Uh, sure. Oh, Hawkeye's gonna head down here. Hawkeye fears no living fane. Poor dead thing. Well, I mean, it's easier to fear living fanes than dead fanes. Fear anyways, but... the walking dead. I think that's All a right. Show. Hey, Nino. <laughs> I'll take care of anything that happens out here. Nino, you're lucky you've only had to deal with one monk. Yeah, Nino's just like standing awkwardly close to Prince Zephyr's room while not actually doing anything. She's just, yeah, creeping. Should I talk to him? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know why that's my Nino voice. I mean. Also, I... Nino. Cousin of Saria from Ocarina of Time, maybe? Very possible. <laughs> very, very similar looks. <laughs> Alright. So I don't want her to go out too far, but I want her to talk to Jafar, so... 
I'll have I'll have like a Bowen rescuer. Yeah, he's got full HP. Oh, another one I probably wouldn't do. Minecraft. I if I would do a Minecraft video to show off some of the stuff I've done. It would have to be multiplayer, I think. Definitely. Multiplayer definitely. Minecraft is amazing. Single player Minecraft only really works well if it's like, oh yeah, I'm gonna give you guys a tutorial on how to build this cool thing in Minecraft. Or if somebody else has built you a cool world and you're just kinda like goofing around. Yeah. Online Minecraft with like friends that you can't be with in person could be cool. Ooh. Yeah, we could do that actually now because um, uh, I gave my roommate Minecraft. Can can you do Minecraft online if you have the PS3 version and I have the Wii U version? No, That's those are not cro those are not crossplay. Um, oh, so I, I couldn't be one of the Wii. I think the PC. Boots. Okay, actually, I think I know the PC oh. and the Xbox One uh -oh. can do that. I think Nintendo just announced the Switch version can do that. I don't know if for the Wii U version oh. they also oh. added. Why that would he move? I don't know why he would move. Oh, we better get you far away from that thief. I would love Lee Galt to steal the boots he just purloined. Maybe Marcus can do that, I don't know. Maybe your guy can rescue Jafar. Well, I mean, Lowen's kind of penning that guy in, because we would ideally like to get the Brave Lance and the boots. If you steal the boots, If we steal the boots, the... the Brave Lance should turn green. Oh, okay. Brave Lance is a really good weapon. Yeah, it's one of those you can attack four times kind of thing. Like Sora did Fireblood Path of Radiance. I thought you said Sora. I, I could have sworn you said oh, Sora. I meant Sora. Maybe I said Sora. This is like I, I the, this you... is like the episode where people accidentally said... <laughs> say the wrong thing. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Nino does not need elixirs. No. She has like 20 HP. Less than that. <laughs> Oh, oh, darn. Um, move him down towards Jafar eventually. Do you want me to rescue? Rescue Jafar would be grand. Ah! He has full HP. Uh. If you want a f uh, Okay. If you want a physic dart, I would appreciate that. That's fine. Oh, I missed two of my units. Oh well. <laughs> don't have her heal my guys, please. I'm trying to save the physic. Oh, don't want? No, I'm trying to save the physic. Oh, well. We still have another hammer game. That is true. Now, hopefully the thief won't just outright attack Lowen. Could, but... Also, I have no idea if anything's gonna be... Ugh, I'm attacking Lin! Bleh! Exactly like that. Complete with Dracula Blair. <laughs> blah! I go to blah. attack! Where, the, where, did that come, where did the Dracula Blair, Blair come from? That's a good question! Is that like a Looney Tunes thing? <laughs> Maybe? Uh oh, Raven might be dead. Are you kidding me? Are you forgot kidding about, me? I forgot about Bolting. Please don't let Raven die. Please don't let Raven die. Oh, oh Raven is so dead. <laughs> come on, Raven! Dodge! Oh yeah! Oh, oh, no! No! Oh. Oh. Why did you let me move him there? You seem so confident. <laughs> oh no! Thing was, I was, I was actually debating. This is my like, fourth character I've lost, guys. I swear I'm good at fire emblem. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. I forgot Ursula was down there as oh. well, and that she had Boltine. Oh man, we really need to get Jafar now. <laughs> yeah. Kill the Black Fane. If only we could recruit Zephiel. Who do I have to talk to Jafar with, Nino? Nino needs to ch talk to Jafar. Uh, be careful, because there's the hero down there. You're right. Or actually, well, Bowen, Bowen can move down there. Can I have her use, like, stand here and use Torch? Oh, absolutely. I brought the Torch staff for a reason, you know. She just burned Pent. That's not very nice. Yeah, he's fine. We still can't see the hero? Oh wait, oh. I killed the hero, didn't I? Oh, that's true. Alright, I think... Oh, that's right, move those uh, all-stars. Not, not sarcastic, they actually are all-stars. 
Hey now. You're, you're an all-star. All -star. Get your game on. Go play. Oh, Ooh, he's got a rescue game. staff. Well, well. So I went to, over Memorial Day weekend, I went to a um, giant Memorial Day weekend parade in Indianapolis with my fiance and her family. And there was like a MC for the like the parade yep. who was just walking up and down. He's like, hey guys, I have free Smash Mouth tickets. Like, who wants these Smash Mouth tickets? Like, nobody. He's just giving away, and like two people were like, oh, I guess I'll take Smash Mouth tickets. But like, nobody was flying. He was like trying, <laughs> he was basically having a hard time giving away Smash Mouth tickets. That's kind of hilarious, actually. It's also kind of sad. <laughs> yeah. Because you know, if you saw Smash Mouth in concert, you know they're saving All Star for the Encore song. <laughs> Like, they might play, like, the I'm a Believer version from Shrek as, like, an opener, and, but you know they're making you wait till the very end for all stuff. <laughs> yeah, because otherwise everybody would just leave. It's very true. You've definitely thought about this. <laughs> okay, Bowen needs better equipment. Oh, no. Whoa! Marcus died too? What? Or so a double shot at him with Boltine. You can double shot people with... Elwood is, like, all... That was basically, like, a... No! That was basically like a snake! Snake! Oh, I was thinking it was like Luke from episode 4. Dang it, I'm getting slaughtered. I'm like out of good characters to use. This might turn Jeez. into a single player, let's play. Oh, jeez. You still have Hawkeye and Carl and Rebecca. Rebecca's not going anywhere. I hope not. I probably just jinxed it. Alright, Jafar, do not dare attack that fe- JAFAR! Well, Marcus died. It's not like I didn't try. I know. He didn't even get the. F His killing is just gonna be broken by the time I. Uh, Jafar, uh, I hate you so much right now. <laughs> he not only killed the guy so he couldn't get the brave lance, he didn't even get the boots for that. This is all your fault, Jafar. <laughs> Who would you have given the boots to, Oswald? Anybody. <laughs> Bowen, so he can move halfway across the map. <laughs> oh, you jerk. Alright, we're gonna need. Powerful characters to like characters um, this with high is all, resistance. This is all you. I've lost two guys. <laughs> Does that mean she's used bolting three times? Yep. So I'm gonna learn. Actually, hang on, hang on. We don't have to kill the boss. No, we don't. But uh, I guess I should ask now. Do we want you to do the side quest? I well. Because uh, I know I don't want to do the side really... quest, but I want Jafar. Right. So you would really benefit for doing the side quest, but it's a very annoying side quest. <laughs> That's your call at this point. Okay. Because I mean, if I don't get Jafar. Who do I get? Veda. Uh, she's okay. She's she's pre-promoted. She's no Jafar. Jafar's no, pre-promoted. I know. I'm sure. I'm trying to. Do some math, basically, because if Bowen, I don't want to die from bolting. I say, you know what? Bowen's lived a heart, a long life. He's good to go. <laughs> so he I join Marcus and Raven. So I think what I'm gonna do set uh, Bowen there. Just let your far kill him. Well, yeah, I'm gonna lure them out, basically. I'm gonna put Sarah, like, up here. Well, kinda out of range of this guy. Yep. Just right there, so over. she might be able to get boltined against, and she has very high resistance, so that'll deal hardly any damage. I forget. Okay, Ursula's there. Everybody's in range. But that's if she moves. She doesn't actually move. So her real range, let's see, is like the blue. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 range. So she can do 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So Lowen is in range, okay. 12 might plus 18 magic is... F <laughs> oh, wow. And she hurts twice, apparently. Not against Lowen, she won't. So that's going to deal 25 damage... Maybe we should heal him up. I think you need Pent to attack, so I don't know. No, it, I mean... Or I guess if, if Pent kills this guy, Lowen should be fine. So. Alright. 
your wish is high command. Thank you. You still have pen? You, you only have a small handful of guys now, but only, like they're really I have good. only pre upgraded units. It's like I'm playing this game as a noob. I know. Uh, I can vouch for Link. He is a very skilled Fire Emblem player. It's just doing a co op not let's play. Not this plays. time, apparently. Doing a co op let's play, it's and also you're been not. A while. Yeah, it's been a while since you played this, so. And the newer games are definitely easier. Definitely, yeah. Well, uh, well right. okay. They're not a birthright. Half uh, of Radiance, I would say, from from my limited, to, yeah, movement right there. That's fine. Path of Radiance is harder. Yeah, definitely. But it's not one of the newer ones at this point. I thought you were doing look down from Lane Is at first. <laughs> look down, look down. Don't look them in the eye. Look down. Look down. Why did Raven have to <laughs> die? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, Why did Kent have to die? Oh yeah, I had him too! <laughs> Who all has been brutally slaughtered? So Matthew and Kanas were the first. And then, Kent, then Kent. And then, um... Then, wait, did we, you lost two guys on this level. Uh, yeah, Raven, yeah, Raven and then Marcus. And Marcus. <laughs> oh. I'll give you Isadora if you want. Oh, thanks. <laughs> Well, you know what? I'm trying to be nice. <laughs> oh, you... you no, not really. No, definitely not. You pretty much, if you want to kill Ursula, you either need, like, a really That's powerful true. melee unit to go in and kill her, like, instantly. Or, like, a Falcon knight. Does Jafar turn blue on this level? No. Unfortunately. I'm glad we can see pretty much everything now. Oswin can kill that guy. I only have like four characters to move. Oh, hang on a second, Bolting's still a thing. I need a hand axe. Oh, yeah. Let's get in the window. What would the there. world be like if Advance Wars was like the game that just like took off? Like what would what would have what would like the world look like if they made like advanced, advanced wars, wars awakening, awakening. <laughs> exactly? Um, kids would be more obsessed with guns. <laughs> I, would they? But, yeah, you could have your COs marry other COs. <laughs> Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Which would nine, be tricky because like only two of them are girls. Um, Sammy, Sonya. Well, Sonya's a little girl, so that doesn't really count. Is she? I thought she was just Asian. <laughs> uh, no comment. <laughs> well, she's like very like she's, petite. She looked like a little I girl. meant she's very petite. That's true. She... Yeah, but Andy's supposed to be like ten. Andy is a kid. Let's be honest. <laughs> All right, Ursula, you better not kill me. No one, two, three, four, five, six. I would kind of like to live in that world where Advance Wars became huge. I think that would be cool. Legault stays there. I cannot understand you. Blah, blah, blah. Jafar is totally crushing it on Nino. Is he, or is it just like I must protect something? Well, considering I'm pretty sure the canon ending is they get married. Even though Nino's like 10 and Jafar's like 35. Nino. Okay. Nino is canonically 14 in this. Still young, but. You know, medieval times. Jafar is canonically 35. <laughs> I don't think... Do not believe that. <laughs> that's still pretty weird. <laughs> that's pretty weird. Yeah, that's true. Just a little bit far for Jafar. <laughs> if we don't make it to the level, I'm fine. That's... Alright. Actually, I can't remember if Nino talks to Jafar and you don't accept the side quest, even though you get, like, unlock it. Oh, yeah, I've never, you don't get Jafar on that level. I've never level. done that. You don't get Jafar on that level, right? You get him on the next level. No, you get him on the side quest. Oh, I don't do know if you also would get him if you refuse, because... I don't... Basically, like, at the end of this level, if you talk to Jafar, he'll be like, I will join you. Man, this has been a 40-minute Let's Play. <laughs> the, the Let's Play itself has been a lot bigger than that, this particular episode. Well, yeah, you know what I mean.
What yes, if we lived she's in a world? Bolting. What if we lived in a world where battalion wars became huge? Um, what about it? <laughs> like it would be interesting. Uh, do you want to move these losers? At this point, no. Okay. <laughs> I kind of just want to like end the level. Okay. <laughs> Hey, uh, what wants to talk to you? We're here to rescue you! That's something- he has like another- he either has like a unibrow above his normal eyebrows, or like a cool, like, bracelet that he wears on his head. <laughs> a headlet. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> He's an A with swords? Yay! Yeah, you have to be to wield the seal of silver sword. He's like a oh, level- Hang on, a prince. The crown prince of bird. Yawn, but extremely- How does he have 20 HP?! <laughs> he, that's worse than Lin. He's so bad. At least bad. Lin got the angelic robe. He's worse than Donnie. Or Donald. Come on, Donnie! Isn't it Donald? Technically. Jafar, my most trusted advisor. He's like, by tattoo his flipped arms. I remember when you were first playing when you were playing this game the first time around, and you're like, "Oh my gosh, there's this guy in it named Jafar, and he's awesome." I was literally expecting Jafar from Aladdin. <laughs> like, I don't know why. <laughs> this is Jafar with two Fs. Get it right. Jafer. Who is the most like OP unit? In this. OP is overpowered Overpower? in, this? in all Fire Emblem. You know what? Oh, uh, definitely Morgan from Awakening, or or. Okay, most overpowered unit. Fire Emblem Awakening, have Noe marry Kellum, then have your avatar marry Nah, and then Morgan will be, like, ridiculous. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, let me... Let's <laughs> genetic, like... genetic manipulation aside? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Fair enough. Um, you know, if you'd asked me this before we started recording, I would have said Raven, but... <laughs> we all know how that turned out. Really? You just said Raven? Over Ike? See, you have to understand, I've only played a couple chapters of... And your Ike kind of was not very good. Ike was the one who died all the time. Oh, really? Ike, like, once Ike hits, like, level 8, like, he basically can't die. I feel in that game. I got until, like, level 11, I want to say. It would take more than that to damage Priestess Sarah. I also feel, uh... Um, Bishop at. Who is the... Who is the, uh, female knight in Awakening? Kijel. Does she have pink hair? Uh, she can. She was pretty good. The thing is, like, Awakening is dependent so much on, like, genetics. So, like, depending on who her father is, she'll have okay, different Okay, let's, let's take all the kids out. Okay. Like, the, the kids who, the like, the stats. From, the Avatar from Awakening. Yeah. Robin. Yeah. Is Awakening Corrin is so weird game? because you can have Corrin is grossly overpowered as well. E even by Avatar standards. Well, because you don't have a lord in that game. It's just Corrin. Oh, I just realized I have the hal. <laughs> he has the halberd, so that's pretty good. But nope, nope. Her magic can damage Sarah. I'm out. Oh, she's just like, I'm gonna sit here on my high horse. Yeehaw! Nice southern accent you got there, Sarah. Oh, another game I would never let's play. Elite Beat Agents. Because it would be, like, impossible between having to emulate a DS <laughs> and, um, copyright strikes from the music. Yeah. And just, like, not working out <laughs> Any well. Phoenix Wright game I've already played. The what? Any Phoenix Wright game I've already played. Yeah. Oh, Phoenix Wright is so good. They're it just really bad is. games to let's play. Like they're just they'd be yeah. so bad to watch a let's play. They're they're fun to watch a let's play of if you've played the game yourself and like you want to watch the kid person's reactions to all the different twists. I actually enjoy that. Mm. I know you're like that's boring, but you're not really much for watching. I think let's if plays. I watch let's plays, it's usually to watch the interactions between people. So I yeah. watch more like multiplayer stuff. Oh, I see. Or like a game that's not out yet, where I'm like, oh, this is cool. Yes! We beat it, and well, we only two lost people two died, people died, but yeah. we saved the prince. <laughs> Was it worth it? Who turns evil in the next game? Spoilers. But yeah. This would've, it's well, just... I mean, it spoils it in this as well. 
Why do you not kill me? <laughs> oh, well, we have to restrain Hector, so... They're gonna be too far? Yeah, you've killed like 200 people, including people related to our team. But you know what? He didn't kill this one girl. So you're to cool. be fair, Jafar just admitted he's like, really? He's like, I've killed people you know, you know. It was like, some sins can be forgiven. Hector's like, like, like killing you Matthew's girlfriend. <laughs> I'm sure Matthew would have something to say. Can't about Matthew and Jafar support each other? Yeah. And there's just like, dot, 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 I hate you, Jafar. Dot, dot, dot. Basically. <laughs> yeah, Jafar can support, like, Nino. Merlettis. No, he she, uh, he can support Nino, Matthew, and Lee Galt. I'm still so creepy. She's basically a robot. Yeah. What you could his majesty be thinking? That's probably not the right voice for Commander Murdoch. Oh, what's happened? Like, would you expect him to more have like a deep voice like that? That guy looks like, like a dad. Surgeon? That guy's literally like the castle servant. He's in every castle. <laughs> Just like of a different color. <laughs> kind of like Rebecca's father, who's in like every village. Yeah. Queen Helen. Well, Queen Helene. Oh, that's right. I'm sorry, <clears throat> Helene. She's going. Yes, my son almost died. Who cares? I want to fire him. <laughs> She's very, uh... She's got skewed priorities. They based, they based her... No, actually, never mind. That doesn't work. I was gonna say, they based uh, Game of Thrones off of her. And I was like, oh wait, the Game of Thrones actually was written before. Yeah, before this. But, oh, that's cool. Such insolence! The Lannister always thinks that... I'm sure you'll be hearing a lot more of that in Spirit of Justice. What? Such insolence! I actually don't play Spirit of Justice, so I'm playing through Spirit of Justice right now. I don't play it with the sound on most of the time. Oh, what? You're missing all the great music, then. There's not... The music is all just kind of like... Dang, 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 dang. Like, oh, the music in that is so good. It's like very just kind of like... Asian flutes. The, the, and the, the voice atmosphere. acting is... I'm not a fan of. My name is Phoenix Wright. My name is Phoenix Wright. I'm a defense <laughs> Like, it's not bad, but it's that, just like, that's I don't one of the best voice. soundtracks. In all the Phoenix Wright games? I'd say so. Really? Right up there with Trials and Tribulations. I guess I should, uh, listen to the sound. Yep. So this is this gonna mainly, be like, in which there's in another the case. Is this gonna be like, in which there's another bloodbath, or like, in which Link learns to play, uh, uh, <laughs> fire, uh Well, I'm not sure if you will learn to play sound. it safe, to be honest. No, 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 in which Link learns to play Spirit of Justice with the sound. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> that would be a good one, yeah. Or just Fire Emblem Chapter like twenty five. Games the already will never let's play. <laughs> I, I found I normally do the in which stuff for like my normal let's plays, and then for streams or like you just kind of do a title, of, yeah, kind of. Right, I'm gonna name a bunch of games you will never let's play: Shrek Party, Disney Party, Shrek Super Slam, Spider Man Two. <laughs> Uh, Spider-Man 2! Spider-Man 2 is actually good. Shrek 2 for GameCube. The, I guarantee that one Adventures. I oh, Yoda no. Stories. No, definitely Rocky not. Lucky Luke. <laughs> um, Winnie the Pooh at, uh... Home Run Derby. I was gonna say the, the computer game that we have. Oh, the, the, the original, interactive storybook? I wanted to do that The one. original Busy Town. Backyard Baseball on the Game Boy Advance. The Hobbit. Um... <laughs> Disney's The Haunted Mansion for GameCube. Oh, game. definitely not. That is one of the Grab worst. Grabbed by the Ghoulies. Ooh, Any games in the play. Halo series because we don't own an Xbox. Marcus, how are your wounds? He's alive! If I were 10 it's years... A, it's a Christmas miracle. I understand. So, I always like... I, oh, okay. Accept yes or no. Uh, how badly do you want your far? <laughs> <laughs> or do you want to take the chance and say no and hope we still get Jafar? I kind of want Jafar, but why don't you just like hold the stick to the right and then just push A? Okay. Oh. <laughs> I was hoping to be like, ah. I'm not sure. I don't think we did. We oh! did! Okay, well. Guess what, Cog of Destiny, that's probably the nastiest level in the game, would you say? I, yeah, when I, okay, so when I first played this game, I got to Cog of Destiny, and I, I, granted, I was not even, like, trying to keep people alive. I probably reset, like, ten times. Yeah, it, it's, 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 it's easily one of, if, one of, if not the biggest level in the game, and it's just so hard. It's awful. 
Yeah, but you'll see that on the next episode. Thanks for watching. Not the next episode of bo 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 The next episode of Hardy and Link play Fire Emblem. Have a great day, everybody, and God bless. Hope you tune in for the next one. Remember, kids, God made you special, and he loves you very much. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>